All right, I have two decks of cards here. Before I start this trick, I want to explain something to you guys. I want to make this trick easy. Not easy for you, but easy for me. So I'm going to take this into several steps, and I'll show you how easy this trick is going to be. There's no way I can fail this. First off, I need a selection made. So I'll just riffle down. Someone can say stop. Let's say they say stop right there. This is the card that you're going to select. Now, normally, I tell you to look at the card and memorize it. And I have no idea what the card is whatsoever. So that would be pretty hard to find. To make it easy, though, I'm going to lose the red deck, and I'm actually going to find your card while it's in a blue deck. That should be pretty easy. But I still want to make it easier. So what if I just looked at your card? That would be really easy. But I want to make it easier. So I'll sign my name on it. That'll really make it easy. Now I know what your card is, I know it's got the signature on it, and it's going to be super easy to find because it's a red card and I'm going to find it in a blue deck. I'm also going to put it in face down. That will make it too easy to find. You, this, this is just going to be insane, but there's still something I can do to make it easier. I'm going to sandwich it between the Nine of Diamonds and the Ten of Hearts. That way there's no way I can miss it. If I forget where it is, I can just look for the Nine and Ten, and I'll find it. So, we should be good now. I can give the deck a little wiggle and a snap. And just like that, I'll find your card. Because it's face up. Uh, it's... Huh, that's funny. I was sure your card was face up. Well, that's okay, that's okay. I, you know, thought this would go wrong. I can just look for it because I know what it is. It's the Six of Hearts. But I forgot where I put it. Oh, that's right, I put it between the Nine and the Ten. The Nine of Diamonds and the Ten of Hearts. That should really make it easy. Huh. That's funny. I was sure I put it between the 9 and the 10. Well, it looks like I failed again. But you know what? There's always something you can do if you fail a card. If, if you fail a card trick. The box is really what helps you with tricks. This is like your backup maneuver. What you can do if something goes terribly wrong. Because I made a prediction earlier. And I put the card inside the box. My prediction should be the same as your card. As a matter of fact, it's got your signature on it. That's funny. I was sure your card was red, though. Oh well.